Great man. He was a great man. He was a, a man that uh, helped uh, I think a lot of guys. If we, to name one, they came uh, Doug Harvey at the time. You know, he tried to really help him out. So, uh, and I'm sure he did a lot of things without uh, anybody knowing about it. So, uh, he was that type of man. Even at the end, uh, 75, 80 years old, he was at the office at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. So, uh, he didn't have to do that. But, uh, he's a work. He was a workaholic, and uh, that's all he did all his life. And uh, he started on the ice, and uh, he did the same thing in his, uh, at his job. I never have a chance to uh, play with Dicky, but uh, I have a chance to be on the ice at the same time when uh, they retire our sweater together. So uh, that was a, a very nice uh, day, and uh, I'm gonna remember that the rest of my life, I guess. His life was hockey. And uh, after that, uh, we have share. Uh, we got a good uh, alumni, and Dicky was always uh, there for a golf tournament and uh, helped uh, the alumni to do better and better. Yes, I like I like the guy so much, Dicky Moore. What a great person he was. He was so good for us, for the alumni. He was a person that, even if he was rich, he was a very good businessman. He always thought about giving back to the community, giving back to the alumni. He always on the quiet side. A gentleman likes to have fun, likes to make jokes, likes to be close to the player. And when he was playing, he was pretty tough. You know, uh, for him, going in the traffic was not a problem. He was there all the time. After Jean Bilyeu and uh, Gilles Tremblay, who passed away also, and uh, we've been losing a lot of guys lately. Henry is sick. So it's, uh, it's, for us, it's a uh, tough days when we lose some of our religion like that. Thank you.